Ah, welcome back to Daisy. In this adventure, we are playing on the rearmed AU main server, dominated by large groups and immense PvP. We are not only tackling this mostly solo, but we are also halfway through a while, meaning getting established isn't going to be easy. I'd been playing on and off for a few days, so our story won't start on the coast, but we'll start in Zelenogorsk, where we use the key for a key room before making our way to Tizzy. And this is where we heard another key room up there being unlocked. What is that? Is that the HQ key card maybe? Ooh, there's one. That's two? Hopefully he didn't see me. Ah, he did. Is he What's up on them? Well, he has an knife, I guess he does. We'll quickly heal, loot, and then get out of here. Now after this unfortunate death, we spawned in fresh again, we made our way inland looting Mister for some basic supplies and something to defend ourselves with, we had a quick drink at the well, before heading to Staroy in hopes for some better gear. And then once we got to Staroy, I was not prepared at all for the mayhem that was going to unfold. After killing this player and dealing with the zombies, he came back again, so I killed him one more time and this drew a lot of attention. So we quickly made a stash before getting back into the action. Be at least two. Let's just send it. Push to the other side. 
But I think you'll push to our left. Never know. Oh. <laughs> He's hit. Didn't drop him though. Right, let's reposition to the other side. Oh, there's another one. Most things are safe. Crap. <sighs> so without letting that stop us, we've been back to give it another crack. Have much. For a penny and for a band. Got a bird in there. First one, that's him. Should have grabbed the arm. Oh! Now after dying again and again and again and running back, I kept doing what I could to give him a hard time. Before long they gave up and left. So I tried to cut one off at the trader, sold the gear that I had, and made my way to VMC for an airdrop that was landing. Once at VMC we investigated some shots. Oh, did you see that? I'm just like the potato. Oh, he's hit. Now, after he pushed out the back fence, suspected he was going to push the hill. So we just sat and waited patiently. Got him. Once VMC was clear, we did some parkour to get to the airdrop, and this took a few goes, but we got there in the end. And this is the part of the story where we started looking for a location. We wanted somewhere far out west where we would hopefully not get too much traffic and be left alone. I wouldn't mind that mustache house, but we'll check that area that has the house by itself just south from you. So far it's looking pretty clear. For some sheds we might be able to find sheet metal and nails and so on. With four industrial spawns is pretty good. We could block this door off. Make this main loop with a door. Another door now. Probably even fit two in here. Another door. Another door with an entrance and then airlock it out. After this we met up with some people oh, at the trader. So brought some nails off them with all the loot that we sold. Brought the necessary supplies we needed and then made it back to base before we started building.
And now after the base was finally secure, we needed to go out and earn more money for storage. So after a quick PvP run at VMC, we managed to find sheet metal on one of the survivors that we killed. We then used that to upgrade a door in the base to a tier 2, meaning it would take a heavy breach and charge to get through, keeping us just that bit more safer. We then pushed on to Northwest Airfield for an airdrop. Airdrop. Oh. And well after ultimately meeting my demise, I respawned on the east coast, made my way to Northeast Airfield in hopes to get some better gear before the long run back to base. him running up on that bunker. Who was he shooting at? Ah, that's loud. Oh, there's another one.
Oh man, my heart is racing. And we are flashing blood. And after an intense shootout at the Northeast Airfield, we managed to get out alive. And at that, this will bring our first part of our adventure to a close. But the journey is not over, so stick around for part two. And once again, right. thank you all for watching.